How about on the other degrees of radicalism? Obviously, we have BLM burning down the country. That doesn't play very well for the left. But even on some of these, these wacky sexual issues, they divide us on race, they divide us on sex. On the sexual issues, I don't think this is playing well in Peoria. Uh, I'll give you just an example. There's a book review out in the New York Times called Are Straight People Okay? and other questions about love and sexuality based on some book castigating marriage. Here's just a quick line. In examining the pressure to partner with the opposite gender, we find the extortions of capitalism, the misogyny of violence against women, the racist and xenophobic erasure of non-white families, and the homophobic hatreds that pervade so much of everyday life. This is not outlier in, in leftist discourse. This is not an outlier. This is the mainstream. This is what you see broadcast during these crazy rallies. This is even what you see on presidential debate stages among the Democratic Party. You remember when Julian Castro, when he was still running for president, he said, we need to support abortion rights. We need to support abortion justice, not just for women, but for trans women, meaning men who put on dresses, who I guess can have abortions now. I don't know how that's possible. This kind of gobbledygook of leftist jargon, the misogyny of violence against women, racist, xenophobic e erasure of non-white family. How do you, what, huh? What is that? Homophobic hatreds and blah, blah, blah. It's just complete, complete fictive gobbledygook. And I think a lot of Americans who are not steeped in this kind of radical ideology look at that and say, huh, I got one guy telling me make America great again. I got one guy talking to me about the erasure of the cis, trans, non-binary, non-white, misogynistic, blah, 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 blah. I think I'm going to vote for that guy. The one who I can understand, you know, the one who's speaking simple English, who says like, don't burn down the country. Yeah, I think that guy, that guy is more persuasive. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.